Valencia, Spain is a destination that has it all. It boasts a rich and diverse heritage that spans from Roman times to the present day. It's a city that will captivate you with beauty and vitality. Vucation presents the best things to do in Valencia, Spain. Plaza de la Virgen one of the most charming and historic spots in Valencia is Plaza de la Virgen, a square that dates back to Roman times. Here, you can admire some of the city's most emblematic buildings, like the Gothic Cathedral, the Baroque Basilica, and the neoclassical Palace of the Generalitat. You can also see the Turia Fountain, which represents the river that used to flow through the city and features a statue of Neptune. It's a lively place where you can enjoy the local culture and traditions. Every Thursday at noon, you can witness the Water Tribunal, an ancient institution that settles disputes over irrigation among farmers. During Las Fayas, the city city's biggest festival, you can see a spectacular floral offering to the Virgin Mary. And throughout the year, you can find street performers, markets, and events that add color and fun to this square. The plaza is a must-see when visiting Valencia's Old Town. You can feel the history and spirits of this beautiful city. You can also relax at one of the many cafes and bars that surround it and watch people go by. Torres de Serranos Fancy yourself a time traveler? Well, if you want to travel back and see how Valencia looked in the Middle Ages, you should visit Torres de Serranos, one of the 12 gates that formed part of the ancient city wall. These impressive towers were built in the 14th century by architect Pere Balaguer, who designed them as defensive structures and a triumphal arch. The Torres are considered the biggest Gothic city gateway in all of Europe, and they showcase the power and wealth of Valencia at that time. You can admire their elegant facade, their pointed arches, and their vaulted domes. You can also climb to the top and enjoy a panoramic view of the city and the Turia riverbed. The Torres de Serranos have witnessed many historical events, like the entrance of King James I after conquering Valencia from the Moors, or the imprisonment of nobles during the 16th and 17th century. They've also survived several threats like wars, fires, and earthquakes. They were spared from demolition when the city walls were knocked down in 1865 thanks to a public campaign. Today, they're one of the most symbolic monuments of Valencia and an emblem of its identity. They host many cultural activities and events throughout the year like exhibitions, concerts, and festivals. The most famous is the Crida, which marks the beginning of Las Fayas every March. Ciudad de las Artes y Cinemas if you're looking for a place that combines science, nature, and art, check out the City of Arts and Sciences in Valencia. This is a spectacular and imposing complex designed by renowned architect Santiago Calatrava, located in the former riverbed of the Turia River. The Ciudad consists of six areas that offer different experiences for visitors of all ages and interests. You can explore the wonders of the universe at Le Hemispheric, an IMAX dome cinema that resembles a giant eye. Visitors can discover in the marine life of different habitats at Le Oceanographic, the largest aquarium in Europe that resembles a water lily. If you're a fan of the performing arts, you can enjoy opera, music, and theater at the Palau de la Arts Reina Sofia, an elegant building resembling a helmet. And for an experience a little bit more laid back, you can relax at Lo Umbraco, a landscaped garden with native plants and sculptures. Explore the city by bike. Itching to stretch your legs and get some exercise? You can join a guided bike tour that'll show you the highlights of the city, like the cathedral, the Torres de Serrano, and the City of Arts and Sciences. You can also rent a bike for one or more days and explore Valencia at your own pace, or enjoy a night bike tour that'll let you see it in a whole new light. Bike tours are a great way to discover the beauty, culture, and history while having fun and staying active. You'll be able to cover more ground than walking, take scenic routes along the Turia Gardens and the beach, and learn from local guides. Guides. Jardines del Turia The Turia Gardens is one of the largest urban parks in Spain. This lush green oasis runs along 9 kilometers of the former riverbed of the Turia River, diverted after a catastrophic flood in 1957. The gardens offer a variety of attractions and activities for visitors of all ages and interests. You can stroll along the paths surrounded by palm trees, orange trees, fountains, and ponds. Active guests can play sports in the fields, courts, and tracks, or rent a bike, segway, or tandem to explore its length. 
You can also find many bars and cafes with terraces where you can have a drink or a snack. The gardens are crossed by 18 bridges from different periods and styles, adding charm and history to this park. Some of them are ancient stone bridges from medieval times, such as San Jose, Trinidad, or El Real. Others are modern steel bridges designed by renowned architects like Santiago Calatrava or Norman Foster. The gardens are open every day for free and accessible from different points of the city. The Cathedral of Valencia this awe-inspiring building stands at the heart of the old town of Valencia, linking two of its most iconic plazas, Plaza de la Reina and Plaza de la Virgen. The cathedral was built on the site of an ancient Roman temple that later became a mosque. It was consecrated in 1238 by the first bishop of Valencia after the Christian reconquest and dedicated to St. Mary by order of James I the Conqueror. The cathedral features a Gothic style, although it also contains elements from Romanesque, Renaissance, Baroque, and Neo classical periods. The cathedral holds many treasures inside its walls, like paintings, sculptures, and relics. The most famous is the Holy Chalice, believed by many to be the true Holy Grail used by Jesus in the Last Supper. This legendary relic is kept in a chapel specially dedicated to it. The cathedral also has impressive frescoes on its main altar, commissioned by Cardinal Rodrigo de Borja, later Pope Alexander VI, to Italian artists in 1476. They depict 12 angels playing musical instruments and are considered one of the most important works of the first Spanish Renaissance. Placa de la Reina and El Miguelete Tower These must-visit attractions are two of the most iconic landmarks of the city, located in the heart of Old Town. Placa de la Reina, Queen's Square, is a spacious and elegant square that surrounds the cathedral. It's named after Queen Maria de las Mercedes, who visited Valencia in 1878. The square is full of cafes, restaurants, and shops where you can enjoy the local cuisine, culture, and shopping. It's also a popular meeting place for locals and tourists alike, especially during festivals and events. El Miguelete Tower is the bell tower of the Cathedral of Valencia, and it stands out with its octagonal shape and Gothic style. It was built between 1381 and 1429 by several architects such as Andres Julia and Pedro Balaguer. It's 51 meters high and has 207 steps that lead to the top. From there, you can admire a panoramic view of the city and its surroundings. El Miguelete Tower takes its name from one of the bells dedicated to St. Michael. It has eight bells in total, each with its own name and function. The bells ring every hour and on special occasions like religious ceremonies or celebrations. The Museo de la Princes Príncipe Felipe If you're looking for a place that stimulates your curiosity, creativity, and critical thinking, check out the Prince Philippe Science Museum. It's a modern and interactive museum that invites you to learn about science and technology in a fun and engaging way. It's part of the City of Arts and Sciences, an architectural complex designed by Calatrava. It's a spectacular building that resembles the skeleton of a whale with over 40,000 square meters of exhibition space. It has three floors with distinct thematic areas covering topics like astronomy, biology, physics, chemistry, ecology, health, and communication. You can interact with hundreds of exhibits that challenge your senses and mind, such as simulating an earthquake, flying over Mars, or exploring the human body. Now it's time to hear from you. Have you ever been to Valencia? Did we miss any of your favorites? And if not, do you think you'll ever get there? Let us know in the comments section below.